Today's lesson is exploring laws. As I said, this is going to be very fast. Just hold your hands on last thing. There will be no examples today. All of your examples will be done uh, on the way forward. Exploring laws, I should say. Okay, so again, do that up on your um, way forward. Flip. So, Did you guys do exploring some grade eight? I can't remember. Okay. A little bit. Okay. So we're going to talk about expanded form. Expanded form is just like out full. Okay. So if somebody tell me what's four to the form mean. Ethan, I'm going to start with you. Okay. Four to the form. What does four to the form mean, please? Four times four. Oh. Four times four. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be four times four. Four times four. Okay, that's what four to the four means. Good. Emma, what does four cubed mean, please? Very good. Okay. Hold it on that. That's expanded form. Okay, you have four fours on the left, you have three fours on the right. How many fours have all together? Seven. You just prove something. What's a way you can skip that middle step? How do we get to a quicker way to get to seven? Yeah, go ahead. That's the exponent. Okay. So this is our first law called the multiplication law. I'm gonna do one example, and then do the multiplication law. Okay, so a to the m times a to the n is a to the power n plus n. What I mean by that is, that you can't do your job, but it if you want to. So I'm going to be brave and tell me what 2 to the 24 times 2 to the 81 would be. Think of how we did three, two to the four to the four plus times four to the three. What do we do? We just add the exponents, right? So we do the same thing here. Two to the twenty-four times two to the eighty-one. What are you going to? Can I go ahead? Two to the hundred and five. Very good. How'd you get hundred and five? You just add eighty-one to twenty-four. Okay, very good. So you see what we did there? Twenty-one plus eighty-one, twenty-four plus eighty-one, that's one hundred and five. One more. It's the smaller one. X to the 9 times X to the 3. X to the 12. X to the 12, right? If you're ready to ask a question, so I'm going to go out of the speed of light today because I want to give you guys lots of work time today. If, you're ready, if, you, don't, if you don't understand, don't worry, probably three quarters of the class doesn't. Emily, I'll call. Yeah, go ahead. Very good. Thank you for saying that. You do need the same base. Okay, so for my third one, if I do 2 to the 5, x to the 6, 2 to the 7, x to the 8, y squared. Now this looks frightening, but this is a great 9 question. So I used to come, you tell me that uh, you combine your 2s, you combine your x's, you combine your y's. Okay, so the way I would write this, I would rewrite as 2 to the 5 times 2 to the 7, times x to the 6, times x to the 8, times y squared. So there must be right there, guys, if we wrote it to make it a little bit easier. Okay, Jake, we're going to pick on you because I like you so much. What's 2 to the 5 times 2 to the 7, please? Um, yeah, no problem. No problem. Somebody help me here. What are these exponents when they're at the same base? What are these exponents? No one, go ahead. You just add them. So 2 to the 5 and 2 to the 7, J equals going to be 2 to the 12. All right, we have 5 plus 7. 
Okay, now get around you because I like it so much, and because you're skipping tomorrow. X to the 6 times X to the 8 is going to be Y. Okay, you want X? How'd you get 14? Good. Good idea. Hey, Grace, if you're sitting at the back, what's the Y going to be? Y to the power? Right, that's all there is, is Y to the Okay? So are we good? Mostly? Oh, no one's going to get to the acid spray. I feel I've sucked out the life of you already for one week. Already sucked the life out of you. Bad news. This is Olivia's not here. Yeah. What, can she sit here? Definitely not. Okay. Friends inside friends, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. What no, else? I, I, yeah, well, that would be good. That would be good. I know. Here we go, division law. Expanded mode, an expanded form. <coughs> six to six divided by six squared. Let's do this in expanded form, please. William Wash, what does six to the six mean, please? Um, six times six Very good. So it's going to be 6, I'll write it up 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> Bless you. Moved. I think your name is Ashley, is that correct? Ashley, even though you moved your name, still the same. What is 6 squared here, please? What's 6 squared here? Now here's a neat little thing that I'll still point to those three times. When you're dividing something, you can just cancel it out. If there's a six on the top and a six on the bottom, you can cancel that. In the same way, if there's a six here and a six here, those can cancel. What are we left with then? Yeah, go ahead. Six to the power four. Very good. So our rule is if you have e to the m over a to the n, this must subtract. So it's a numerator, subtract the denominator, and you're fine. What is So yeah, it's divided, but it's fractions like divided. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do a big difficult question for you. And I don't get difficult questions. And uh, don't put yourself to anyone who can do this. Please, 2 to the 20 divided by 2 to the 18. Okay. Now don't write out the big info. We're going to try to get our power rules. I want to try to use numbers here that make you big. So I'm using the power rules, the power rules over here. What's the top divided by the bottom? You're just going to subtract the exponents, right? It will be this one to track this one. So in this case, if you do 2 to the 20 divided by 2 to the 18, what's going to be left? 2 to the power 2, very good. So we're going to see that, right? 2 to the 20 divided by 2 to the 18, so you can Let's go to the next one. Someone who's brave, not that you aren't all brave, but I'd like you to try it. Just do the x stack for you the y. Okay? Anybody got to try yourselves and okay with the answer here. Okay? to the 5 by x to the 4 is what? Very good. Okay, I don't think so. 
Is there a power one where you can say or? Okay. You need to say. Okay. Now here's one I want you to take. If you're fading out of today's class, please fade in. Not this one. Now it's too difficult. Sorry, I get mixed up. Sorry. Now this one putting the scarf aside, okay? This one's kind of important. Two cubed divided by two cubed. Using our power law. What's that using our power law? Two cubed divided by two cubed. No, going to pick on you. Using our power law, what's two cubed divided by two cubed? Well, if you think back to what we did here, right? If we did 2 to the 20 divided by 2 to the 18, all we did is sort of lowering everyone else that's not sharp. There's the 20 minus 18 divided by 2. Same thing here. 5 minus 4 is 1. 11 minus 7 is 4. That's all it is. Curtis, go ahead. Is it 1? It is 1. So I'm going to write it like this. Proven, <laughs> excuse me, I'm begging for this, so I can't answer. Um, we've proven that anything to the power of zero is one. Okay? So I've just shown that if I say to you, and I'll pick on Ethan right now, if I say, Ethan, what is 4.96292949399499 to the power of zero? What does it equal? Oh my goodness, don't be afraid. Aiden, I'm picking on you since you're skipping tomorrow. What is 4.38492939 to the power of zero? So it's right? Yeah. Thank you. Owen, what is 19,463,922,000 to the power of zero? Thank you. What is pi cubed to the power of zero? Thank you. You got it? What is 18 to the power of zero? Good. Okay. Good on that. X to the power of zero. Five is uh, one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And in the power of zero, even with the variables and stuff, is still one. Okay. So anything to the power of zero is one. Okay. I'm do my class two laws and do examples. So these are my um, power of power. So that's the power of power. If you raise something to a power, it's like multiplying. Okay? So if I do 2 cubed squared, that's going to be 3 times 2 and I get the power of 6. Now I know I'm going to do it very quickly, but you guys, I want to give you guys a lot of chance to work today and practice this because the only way you could do this one a lot of practice them. That's the only way you get good. My last one's going to be. So what happens if something is raised to the power of this? Yes. Therefore, it's too big. In math, they use that a lot for like your closing statement. If you're getting ready to finish your statements, you say therefore. It's like an ending sentence. Okay, so let's talk about the whiteboard for a second, then we'll. Give you guys lots of chance to practice this, okay? Um, Maddie? Uh, two part of what I'm saying? Um, may is it? Ne voir pas the cell phone ever. Okay, okay, 